Hey beauties and girls, we are back with another video and thank you Laudi. Okay, this is the seventh day of Days of Declutter and you know, y'all, the Lord rested on the seventh day. Okay, so this is our last installment. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out over here in the cards right here. Yeah, yeah. Seven whole days. Not a word from you. This is the last installment. These are my cream stylers. This would be the entourage if I was going to have, if I had to only do shampoo, leave in, or if I wanted to do a one step lock method, it would be in this. If you don't know what that is, I will come and I can do a video on that. Sometimes my vocabulary, I'm ahead of the game and I kind of like need to explain myself, but give me a thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos in terms of with my uh, cream stylers and I can definitely do that for you. Make sure you leave any questions or even your favorites down in the comment section. I would love, love, love to see that. So let's just jump right in. We are going to be talking about some of these and decluttering some of these. So let's just jump right in. The first thing that I'm going to pick up is this Moroccan oil. This is a super duper bougie product. Yes. And um, I am on the fence about this because this styler has isopropyl alcohol in it. And I am very scared that this is going to dry out my hair. Okay. Um, isopropyl alcohol is that rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you see that. See isopropyl? I, I don't know. I actually want to try that this just for the reason to see if how it acts on my hair. So I am going to hold it for a review. But I'm just saying a warning to myself. Okay, a warning to myself. The second, um, I know y'all saw this in a haul. This is the smooth gel. By the way, this is gels, hair creams, mousses, all of that. The reason why I put her leave-in conditioner because it is like a liquid. This actually I could put in by itself, but this is ideal for fine thin hair. She is sold out currently. I will um I will probably tell you guys on Instagram or when she is back in stock on in these. But let me just tell you, I really do like these products. It's super duper lightweight on my hair and I get a lot of volume. And that's a gel mousse. I've never seen a gel mousse for my hair in all my life. And so it's such an eccentric product. And um, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm sad that I am running low. So... Um, curly five by Kiana. I need you to get on that ASAP. Okay, girl. Let's move on to some other loves that I want to go ahead and keep. And these, y'all know, I'm a smooth criminal. Y'all didn't know that. Now you know. Um, this is the Whip, the Triple Treat Hair Styler. I have done a review on these two. And I also, I believe I've done one on the perfect strands. I will list my uh, reviews and what I think about these over here in the comment um, in the I cards. So you guys can check that out. Um, Be Cure Beauty Palm Tapioca. OG for show. It's even in the old packaging, which means I need to finish this up. But I love it so much. It is an amazing twist product. It is a heavy hair cream if you have thick hair your hair is going to love it if you have fine hair you just have to use it sparingly but it is amazing and it smells like cherries i love it I want to take you back in the day it almost smells like kool-aid okay um y'all og i have not done an official video on this but my favorite probably my favorite styler from the drugstore and um, I can use this as a leave-in is the Almond Jai. Now, this is the Curly Mo Moisture Butter. Let me. I have one open right here. And then I have one closed. This ain't going nowhere. What you, what you say? I still have the Twisted Vanilla by Sorenzo to use. This is a styling frosting. Let me know if you have tried this, what you think about this. I want to say this is glycerin free. And that's why I got it. Yes, and it has oils in it. And yeah, I think my hair is going to like this. Y'all, it has peppermint in here. Shut the front door. Yes. 
and uh i love i mean i haven't even tried that but i'm excited okay let me just not let me not say that this is by chlorine this is a bougie product okay this is a leave-in with desert date ogre it says it's a leave-in but i would use this probably as a cream i mean like as a um like as a styling cream but we can put this in the leave-ins anyway i'm keeping it because i need a review for you guys um i got it on sale but then it went back to regular price so yes that was lucky. Be mine. This is the Luscious Balance Cream, the coconut cream. Y'all, this ain't cheap. Do y'all see that price? Yes. $19. We're going to see if it's worth it. Okay. Um, yeah, I do believe in having salon quality products at home, especially since I'm not at the salon. I want the look though. This is the Diva Curl Frizz Free Voluming, Volumizing Foam. This one is way down. I don't know if you see that. Way down at the bottom. So I'm really excited about that. I'm thinking about using, because this is silicone free, y'all. This is what got me excited about this. This might be my styler that I absolutely love from Diva Curl, because y'all know I haven't found a styler yet. Shampoo, conditioner, bomb. But I have not found a styler from Diva Curl yet that my hair loves, like loves, in love with, you know. Want to run away with, get married to. Yeah, no, we haven't found that yet from Diva Curl. So I'm really excited about this. I'm thinking about using this for some type of stretch style, maybe um, a Bantu knot out or some type of um, after a blowout, maybe for a rod set or something. I think that would be really cool. The S. Dot Beauty Creme Fresh. I have a love hate relationship with this hair cream pudding. I'm thinking it's, it, and it's glycerin free too, y'all. I think, I think that this works better for me as a leave-in. It does not have a lot of hold for me, but it, I think it would be great as kind of like, it's supposed to be a, like a hair pudding. I think it says it's ideal for wash and goes, twist out and braids out, yeah. Uh, braids out, wash and goes, styling for wavy, loose, curl patterns it says loose okay so that means it's not going to really give it gives a oh and expect incredible definition with the soft hold okay incredible definition with the soft hold okay mm -hmm. yeah this is going to be more of a leave-in conditioner i'm going to try it that way sometimes it's better to use products sometimes it's better to use products the way that you feel like it would work for your hair rather than what it is says it says on the label if it does not work for you the way that the label says as it claims don't be afraid to try it a different way that's why this really does not give me the hold that i need by itself so i am going to use this as a leave-in which comes to mind is the curlate moisture butter nothing to me is nothing like the almond jai twist butter as a matter of fact, this is more of a leave-in to me than and a butter, like literally a butter. See, this one is a twisting butter. This is a moisture butter. This is heavier, but it's nothing. It does not, to me, have the hold at all. I would use this as my leave-in and then go in with a super light styler because this is so heavy. You don't want to like layer too much, but um, if you needed something with some more hold, this really moisturizes my hair but does not really give me too much hold at all i have two of these and this one i'm probably gonna i'm you know what i'm gonna put it this one in a natural hair giveaway because um i have i'm it's it's okay and like i said if it's an okay product i just i don't want to hold on to it so i am going to put this in a giveaway so y'all be proud of me i'm decluttering one okay this is an oh this is so hard. It's so hard to say goodbye to Curly King's twist wig. This is so amazing. This is so amazing, y'all. And look how much I've been trying to hold on to this for my life. Don't come for me because I know. Don't even try to look at the expiration date. I smelled it. Okay, and um, it doesn't smell bad, so that's why I'm still using it. Okay, usually I would uh, hold to my expiration date, and hey, it's not going in my hair, but this is still holding on strong, and I'm gonna use it.
okay it has a really good strong um preservative in here too so yeah mama gonna keep it and i'm going to finish this off because it is glycerin free no it has glycerin in it shut up my hair but but my hair likes it y'all see glycerin is in here there may be hope for me i'm gonna let it go Ah, uh, i might let it go i might let it go mm. I have some good ones. My sister would love this for a, a twist out. Lisa, I'm telling you right now, use this girl. This will change your life. But don't come for me now that they don't sell this, okay? You're just going to have a few good hair days. Now you're going to have a more hair days than that. But what I'm saying is this is tried and true. Jesus, be a fence. Okay. She sent it. Coconut curling, defining pudding. Let me tell y'all something about puddings. Usually puddings do not work well in my hair. And in terms of a styler, this is probably going to be a good, I am predicting this is going to be a good leave-in. It's kind of like going to be like this, the cream fresh. The cream froche. Froche. No, it's cream fresh, y'all. It's just in French, okay? French, okay. Yes, so I'm thinking that this will be, we'll see, we'll use it as a styler, but I don't think it's going to give me enough hold. All the way saying curl defined. We'll see. We'll see the claims, okay? She sent it. I got a couple of their things um, last, the last Black Friday, and some of the stuff I opened, some of it I didn't, but yes. Yeah, I'm only declaring two products. Get excited. This was a stash video. <sighs> yes. Um. So one giveaway one one giveaway another one giveaway no that's a giveaway for you guys and i'm giving that away to my sister this i'm keeping for me no, i'm just kidding no I'm no actually i'm not kidding some of this stuff i do need to test but i hope you guys enjoyed this last installment my creamy stylers let me know what your favorite creamy styler is especially if it's glycerin free let me know but even if it's not, let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for sticking with your girl through seven days of declutter, y'all. Thanks so much. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I do have um, my favorite glycerin-free gels coming. Get excited because you guys have been asking for that for a while. So I'm delivering and um, I think I'm going to do the same thing with this for glycerin-free. Because some of y'all don't like gels, you like creamy stylers. So yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you beautiful you in the next video. Bye!